Hey, hello to all. Welcome to Global Offensive Hacker Associate Community. In this section, we are going to learn about the PRT attack we call as a primary refresh token attack. It is a part of my Offensive Cloud Penetration Testing Program. You can go to hackerassociate.com and you can check this particular program called Offensive Cloud Penetration Testing. Let's talk about what exactly is a PRT attack. Okay, so the PRT is stand for primary refresh token and again this basically part of azure ad exploitation so in this particular program we discuss about azure penetration testing and azure ad exploitation so both are different thing always remember azure ad is not azure or azure is not azure ad okay azure ad we are using for authentication and authorization and this is basically the main part lateral movement okay to the cloud with pass the prt okay and that is very interesting attack and this is one of you know a top attack basically related okay to the azure so there are several well documented ways attacker and malware can spread laterally across windows server and desktop it's like approaches like pass the ticket pass the hash over the hash over pass the hash and golden ticket and so on right and this basically what you, you maybe you have heard about okay in the past right maybe if you have done any ad kind of stuff ad penetration testing or ad exploitation you might be aware about this particular wording so here i'm purely talking about cloud stuff the cloud exploitation and in what scenario okay you can look for this particular attack is called prt so when you talk about prt and before this let's read this particular line okay and as if that wasn't enough to worry about a new research has shown similar technique that are effective in moving laterally from a compromised workstation to the connected cloud resources on azure right and this also bypasses all strong authentication and multi-path authentication that may be in the place because it follow you know single sign on so what is prt is a primary refresh token it is used to provide a single sign on experience for a user of windows 10 and mobile operating systems and it seems very similar to kerberos ticket granting ticket is one of the again uh, famous you know attack we have done it in past like asa rep roasting and lot of other if you have done on prem active directory attack you might be knowing about this particular attack right for a windows single sign on and Microsoft has some great documentation. You can simply go and check this particular documentation regarding to the PRT. So they have good documentation. But again, uh, regarding to the attack, I have not seen you know much article on this. Uh, if if I see the article, I don't see much explanation regarding to the PRT. So in this particular section, I will try to cover full fledged what exactly is a PRT. The purpose of PRT is to provide a single sign on experience so that once you log into one device, Windows 10 PC. You go to access your Azure and 365 resources like Team, Exchange Online, Azure AD, etc. You don't have to re-authenticate and can be automatically logged in. And PRT only be used for Azure Join or Hybrid Azure Join device. And you have a window open okay, for 14 days. Okay, So once you generate a token, okay, like you can you know uh, log in to the particular account for 14 days as per the latest documentation. So once you have this type of device and log in with your password or passwordless approach, Windows 10 will communicate with the cloud authentication provider that is a part of Windows 10 and the Azure AD plugin on the top of the authentication provider. And this plugin validate okay, your credential and once you are authenticated, it return the PRT and the session key. So right now, if this particular wording doesn't make you know sense to you, is completely fine, is completely okay, we will be doing a practical thing. There, okay, I'm going to, you know, cover everything in a detail, like <clears throat> how to create, how to generate basically PRT, what do you mean by nonce and everything we'll be discussing shortly. So, to understand, okay, now at a high level part. So, what I'm talking about is, you can simply go here to the Azure portal. So, this is the Azure portal, right? And if you have an account, you can go to the Azure and I'm going to talk about the registered devices, okay? So, this attack basically, you know, we need some devices, okay, which are joined, okay, to this particular AD as we discuss okay here right i think you can see one point is there called not here a prt will only be used for azure joint or hybrid azure joint devices so what i'm talking about so you can simply go to here uh, this area and go to azure active directory and after that you can simply click on uh, devices and to check where the devices is a license here's the devices right when you click on the devices you can see i have total four devices there and you can see these are the devices details right these are all the devices so what if okay like if we <coughs> so what if 
if we compromise one workstation and try to run some command regarding to the join device in basically recon phase we'll implement it and if we identify azure ad register device or hybrid devices then we can basically you know look for primary refresh token attack we can generate it and then try to log in it so without password we can log in it directly let's see this part in practical one okay so again again uh, basically for this we require you know in tune configuration and many other things there so in my case is everything is set up okay so in, in order to practice this thing you require one windows machine like this and i'm going to start one windows machine uh, this is basically my attacker machine let's start the windows machine and this is basically my workstation okay and this machine is basically connected to my azure active directory okay and here it is so this is my attacker machine and as i mentioned uh, suppose attacker compromise this workstation and then suppose if we perform a recon and he identifies several users he can you know generate a refresh token and try to log into the particular account that is basically the overall concept okay again there will be many variation so again uh, as i mentioned i am just focusing on the attack side okay in order to master this particular topic okay you can check my other videos and other things okay so i'm just going to focus on hands on on this particular area i hope you understand the what exactly is a prt we will be focusing now okay on hands on area so you can replicate the same attack in your system so again uh, how to check it out so you require one powershell here so i'll just start powershell uh, run as administrator let's just start it and first when we start powershell to run this command set execution policy scope process execution bypass once you are done with this particular part right and here you need to check okay like any devices are there or not okay as i mentioned this is a workstation and this device is connected okay to the azure ad so how to check this thing so you can simply type the command called ds uh, this call ds reg cmd.exe okay and slash status if you type uh, is basically this command is generally used to check are you in prt environment or not okay so let me just you can see clearly and uh, here if you see that this device join no and lot of detail will come okay in this particular area okay so if you are in the prt environment okay you will see everything here yes and specifically you will see azure ad prt here yes single sign on in my case i don't have that facility but if you can simply check here i have work account which is workplace device id this is basically my device id okay so that is basically the thing here next you can also you know uh, try this command which is basically powershell command get process include username so when you simply click here include username you can see clearly we have a several devices which are connected to the azure ad you can see these are the devices which is 7e 5e right and if you go to this area i'll show you and you can see we have a 7e 5e devices are there right as i mentioned it is registered device azure ad registered device okay and you can see the owner and everything here owner none here we have owner harsh and so on so you can check each and every tab here regarding this so we have a device it is confirmed that okay now what we can do next so now we will be generating a token so make sure that okay you check proper this thing first and then go for the further so according to this output okay what i'll conclude here is we are not registered with intune so that okay uh, the configuration is basically we not sync with the intune so if you see on the top section uh, which means this one this one right here is device join we can see clearly no right so generally we we need to configure okay complete infrastructure first in order to perform this attack so in order to perform in your environment you can just check exactly like that and you can check okay like it is showing these devices so if the device is joined to your active directory you can follow this particular step and you can replicate accordingly right so this is basically the thing here now further what we can do here okay so i'll show you like if in organization how it look like so this is the way this is how it look like devices you can check it out further uh, we can check other things so we can connect to our account first az account uh, this is purely i am basically you know for your demonstration purpose i am going to show you this one so i am just going to connect okay to the account so in order to attack 
uh, in order to implement this attack first we require tenant id as i mentioned okay we compromise the workstation so exactly i am trying to you know login so you can see i am going to login authentication completed and you will see here further so you can see clearly we have a tenant id and uh, what i can do here is i can simple just try this command tenant id and we have this one after that we can simple uh, make an api call so dollar url okay this is basically i'll copy the command it is not coming by default so let's go to the pdf and copy this one so i need to you know, run this particular command so this is basically my tenant id and i'm making a request okay to this particular api so you can copy this complete command and make a request here okay just paste here and you can see we have a tenant id which is, is going to fetch from here and then auth token you press enter it is done next what we want so in order to implement the attack we require first nonce you can see this is the nonce right so i'll copy this particular area this is basically again powershell and i'll paste here and once i press enter you can see i got nonce so in order to perform a prt attack first you require nonce once you have known now you can look for the refresh token primary refresh token how so you can take a help of road recon okay this is another great framework okay uh, this will help you okay for prt then you can use raw token to get a new prt run in the tool from the process of the user to attack so what i can do is i can use raw token and the nonce so we have the nonce before this i need to go to my uh, toolbox so this is the toolbox under the c drive i'll go to ocpt here this area this is basically the program which i'm talking about offensive cloud penetration testing and here is a raw token okay so feel free to check the modules and uh, i cover each and everything in detail regarding to data centers cloud security cloud penetration testing ai based attack exploit development and everything i'll cover in detail under this particular program now you can see this is the road uh, token and i need to go to this area just type here cd and then paste here and you just type dir and you can see we have a road token just type here road token dot uh, exe and we require okay nonce here this is the nonce right so i'll copy the nonce from this one and i will paste here right once you paste here this one you will see uh, you will get that token that exactly the token we require it so there are two method okay in order to you know replicate this attack one okay you can use google chrome without any extension second you can use mozilla with proper extension so i am going to focus i am going to teach you with extensions okay proper extension so if you face this kind of thing okay in your you know infrastructure you can follow exactly the same way which i am discussing to you right so you can see this is basically we have a refresh token credential this is the basically uh, cookie and this is basically the value right in order to understand this value you can simply copy this particular information copy this particular value you can simply right click and you can go to you know uh, i have sigma browser and this is basically a jwt token by the way if you can count it there will be a three field and two dots okay and i'll show directly you can see this is basically jwt and i'll simply press the application name is jw2.io right and you can clearly see that okay we have the details here right hs256 and all details are available here in this area so this basically you try to copy this particular value from here and you can check maybe you will get okay some information in this particular area okay so i'll just copy and if i just paste once again and these are the details we will be having here perfect now what we can do here right so in order to you know replicate this one this attack you can simply go to the mozilla and uh, you can go to the private window and just type here login dot microsoft online dot com and before this you can simply go to your powershell and copy the details so this i want it this is basically the name i will go to the subline here okay and i'll just go this area and paste here and i'll copy this value from this particular area right and right click and you can paste this particular value okay i hope everything is copied perfectly now what you can do 
you can simply go to the Mozilla and use this extension called Cookie Manager Cookie Editor. This extension is required. Okay. So in my case, I'm using incognito mode. And further, you can see this extension. You can see lot of cookies came there, right? You delete each and every cookie from this area. See that? And delete it. Remove from here, right? Everything you remove from here. Now next, what you can do, you can simply click on the new, and uh, you can simply click a tick mark and just give a name, which is this one. You paste here cookie value you can copy from this area okay if everything okay you will able to log in directly and you can simply save it and remember we need to only select http only okay this only we need to select and save it and if you refresh it it automatically going to log in perfect right you can clearly see that I logged into the particular account. You can clearly see that, right? This is the account. You can see Harsh MFA. And this is the device. You can see I log into some other account, but you can see I generated the token. And this device, you can see clearly I logged in, right? This is basically the attack we call pass the PRT, primary refresh token attack. Okay. So again, I'll just, you know, conclude in the last section here. You can see that. What is PRT? A primary refresh token is used to provide a single sign-on experience of a user of Windows 10 and mobile operating system. It seems very similar to Kerberos ticket granting ticket for Windows single sign-on. So in short, if I want to conclude, okay, like in just two, three lines, very simple. You need to check uh, what devices are available okay, in the particular workstation because it is a lateral movement. It means we have initial access, right? Uh, after that, what you need to do, check. First, first you check, okay, devices are there, uh, registered devices. After that, okay, you can generate a nonce. Using the nonce, you generate a primary refresh token. And with the help of extension, just now I've shown you, you import it and try to log in it. Very simple. That exactly the way. That's how the PRT work. Okay. For more information, for more, you know, research on the Azure area or cloud penetration testing area, you always follow Hacker Associate. And this is one of the great program called OCPT, which will help you completely regarding the cloud penetration testing, like GCP, AWS, Azure, everything under the one particular program. So you can please check this particular program and this will help you okay in future uh, regarding to the cloud security. So it's completely, you know, cloud security engineer program. Uh, we will be learning penetration testing, AP attack, hypervisor attack, virtualization, Docker technology, okay, Kubernetes, lot of things okay, we're going to cover under this particular program. Thank you for watching this particular video. I hope this video is informative for you. Thank you for watching. Have a great diet. See you soon in the next episode.